Hi guys, this is Mrs. Welbeck real quick. Hey, I wanted to um, give you a little lesson today on how to start with these color sticks since I'm gonna miss uh, a couple of you and just for review in case you saw it. So these are the color sticks that we're using, brand new out by Crayola this year. They're actually called um, Crayola Signature Cream Sticks. Kind of sound like a donut. Um, I really like them so far. Um, I want you to be real careful with them when you use them in class today because they are brand new. So you're some of the first ones to try them. I'm gonna start with the center of my flower. Remember, I have you draw a flower really big on your paper. Um, kind of like George O'Keefe, you're gonna go off at least three of the four sides. So if you have to add a petal in or something in order to go off the side, you can do that. Um, you don't need to hold, fill, fit in the whole thing, just have it go right off the paper. And I am drawing in white crayon or white uh, color pencil today. That's only so you can see it. Um, I want you to draw in pencil in case you make a mistake, you can erase it. So starting off with the center, I'm gonna add warm colors in the center, which just for review, warm colors, think of fire, it's kind of yellow, orange, red, and I wanna give it a texture. And the texture uh, is just how something feels, but in art, when we add it in, we're implying the texture. So we call it implied texture. And anything that's pretty much repeated over and over again is gonna give you some kind of a a texture look. So I'm going to do a bunch of circles in the middle here with my yellow cream stick and kind of fill it in. I am rushing a little bit so that you have a lot of time to work on your projects. I would like you to make sure you take your time and fill it in nicely. I want maybe to add an, another little color in here just to give it a little more pizzazz and a little more interest. So maybe I go in with some red here and there. I could do that all over or I can kind of change it up and add some orange just to make it a little more interesting. But I'm still gonna keep my warm colors in the center, kind of like a sunflower. It's starting to remind me of my sunflower and add a little bit of color in the middle each one. I'd continue on to do that, and then I would switch to my petals. Now, some of the colors I know, because they know color theory, that when they mix, they're gonna mix well. Basically, almost if you put them back in the same order, they're beside each other on the color, on, in the tray uh, by Crayola. Remember talking about color theory in class, we talked about colors that lived next door to each other. They're called analogous colors. They're kind of side by side on the color wheel, color wheel if you want to take a look at that. But I'm going to pick um, a pink and this darker purple. Now, if I'm in doubt whether that's going to mix, I'm going to take a scrap paper and kind of do a little test patch. Do one end and then the other end and see how they blend. Those blend beautifully right in the middle. So I think I wanna take each petal and I wanna go pink on the tip and then blend it down to blue more in the center. I would take my time, do it nice and neat. working it in the center so it kind of blends in together. So I'm fading from that pink to blue. And then I would go on and on and do each petal in that same color scheme. You don't want to switch colors too much. It gets a little confusing. If I want to go back and add a little bit more yellow on so that it gets right to the edge of my flower, I can do that. So take your time today, enjoy using the cream sticks from Crayola, and we'll talk to you later.